Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Timberborn. Before we get started, please do hit the like and subscribe button, it really does help the channel out. Okay, as you see, we've just got the drought warning. We've got three days and it's going to be a drought, so we should be fine. There shouldn't be any real problems there. Um, in terms of what's going on, we are still waiting for this additional stuff up here to be uh, constructed. Uh, we do have our bad water pump in uh, and uh, staffed. Uh, we have two spare uh, beavers, one spare bed. Uh, I did just start putting some platforms up over here so that we can put in another house up here and start expanding this a little bit. Uh, I've gone for platforms instead of this arrangement uh, because with the platforms at least we can put things under here. Um, so, for example, what have we got? Could we get a shrub in under there? No, probably not. Um, we can get a medical bed under there, though. So, that's useful. Anyway, that's what we're doing at the moment. We're still waiting for all this to be, uh, constructed. Uh, in terms of water, uh, we're nearly at 2,000 stored which isn't too bad. Uh, I would like to increase our storage a little bit more. Uh, we're full up over here, which is good. Uh, I do have, uh, for the moment, both of these water dumps uh, filling up this. I'll, I'll turn this one off as soon as the drought hits, um, or as soon as I think we're deep enough. To be fair, actually, we, we might be deep enough already. Yeah, that's probably okay, isn't it? Let's Let's pause that. Okay. Yeah, for the moment, that's good. Right. What I do want to do, though, um, is I want to put in some more farming. So, let's have ourselves a farmhouse in there. Uh, and then we shall plant... Um, let's plant this way. Uh, a bunch of wheat. Um, those two probably aren't going to grow there, but we'll we'll see. That's probably enough. We'll need some storage for it. Um, honestly, we can use this here, can't we? Yes. Let's put some storage up there. We'll pop in some steps and a platform there. You are storing... Where are we? Wheat. There we go. Okay, we'll then have to um, alternate this uh, grist mill up here between uh, wheat and cattails, I think. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Okay. That's some building work to be getting on with. Uh, why are you thirsty? There is plenty of water. Stop being silly. Yeah, okay, so that's plenty to be getting on with. I will spin on till the start of the drought, I think. Um, how are we doing with our building work up here? We need eight more gears. We have one. We need seven more gears. They do take a little while. Yeah, okay. Is there anything else I want to do immediately? Um, Food-wise, we're absolutely fine. We're full of berries got a whole bunch of carrots, a fair few grilled chestnuts, loads of grilled potatoes, uh, and a little bit of grilled spatterdock as well. Excellent stuff. That's all good. Right. Um, I'll spin on. Um, I'll try and... Well, I'll spin on until either the drought arrives or um, our gristman up here is completed. Okay. Um... Start of day eight, and our um, gristmill is in. We are now waiting for uh, a worker to turn up and bring some stuff with them. Uh, I'm putting in some storage up here. Uh, or I have put in some storage. I'm just putting in the uh, connecting platforms uh, for them to store the flour uh, and the crackers. But before we get crackers, we are going to need to unlock the bakery, which is only 160. Uh, doesn't need power. So we'll just pop that in there for now. Uh, and you will be making 
cattail crackers for the moment. Okay, so hopefully that will start sooner or later. Uh, we don't have quite enough power off of these three wheels, uh, but as you can see, we are now putting in the um, uh, high power shafts. Um, we just need gears for those. Uh, obviously, there's no wind at the moment because, of course, there isn't. But that's okay. Um, our wheat is planted and ready to go, or ready to grow, rather. So the next thing I want to do over here... Hmm. Okay. No, I don't want that. I want that. Um... Actually, that's fine right there. Because over here I want to uh, plant up some more trees. So I want a little bit of pine. Uh, we've got some chestnut. I want a little bit of maple. Uh, in fact, we'll have quite a bit of maple. Like so. And then we're going to put in a tapper's shack up here once all that is planted and growing. That's the plan there. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we're already getting chestnuts from this area down here. Uh, we only have 86 currently, but there are some to harvest, as you can see. So that's all good. And we have plenty in uh, in stock as well, so it's not a major problem. Um, okay, just this last one to do, and then we can uh, connect it up here. That's fine. Building up a stock of uh, bad water there. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, I'll spin on to the start of the drought then. There we go, 15 days. That's okay. No, that's okay. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll probably be okay. Uh, I've shut down these four water pumps, because obviously we want to keep water in here for as long as possible. Um because we want to keep all of this hydrated. We should have enough food and water to be going along with. We do have all of our tanks up here filled, which is good. Um, that's filled, and that's filled. Okay, that should be all right. Um, how are we doing? Oof, we are five workers down overall. Um... Yeah, obviously we've got no flow there. No wind at all. But we'll pop in a power shaft to connect there. And we will think ahead. Why can you not go? Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's we're not going to bother with that then. Uh, I was going to put a platform in so we could get over this um, power shaft and reach over this way, but obviously it's not going to let us do that. So we'll have to come across down here uh, if we want to get back up there. Um, I suppose we could go the long way around, couldn't we? Oh well, never mind. Okay. So, what are we waiting for? Well, we're waiting for the uh, bakery uh, to be built. We can pause this bad water pump because there is no bad water for it to pump. Okay. Uh, we're building up a small collection of metal blocks. It's taking a while. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll be all right in theory. Uh, this water uh, dump is still going. We'll, we'll just have to see. 15 days. We should be able to do it. We've got a lot of water stored up. A lot in our reservoirs. A lot in our uh, storage tanks. So yeah, we should be okay. And food-wise, again, we have two and a half thousand food. We have a bunch of food that is waiting to be um, cooked. And we are still harvesting. And we've got a bunch of berries that we can fall back on if it gets desperate. We should be okay. Yeah. Okay, let me spin through a couple of days of the drought and we'll see how okay we're being. Okay, 10 days left of the drought. Uh, we still have uh, 2.3 thousand water, and that's after the sort of evening rush. Um, I've shut off all of these, uh, and I've, I'm relying on these ones for the moment. Um, they're doing fine. 
everything's doing fine. Uh, our bakery is in um, and is producing uh, cattail crackers, which has pushed our well-being up to 16, which is nice. Um, yeah. The wind has been very intermittent, it must be said. But that's okay. Um, we're not building anything at the moment that requires... Well, not building anything at the moment at all. Uh, this has dried out, so we've lost um, the fertilization for this little patch here. But again, that's okay. We've still got plenty of wood in stock. Uh, and obviously, whilst the uh, uh, wind isn't blowing particularly strong, we're not using a great deal of, of wood to turn into planks or anything anyway. We do still have this lumber mill over here operating. Uh, so that's fine. One thing I've just noticed is I don't think that we have um, a grindstone over this side. Uh, and we should because we've got ourselves a couple of uh, lumberjacks over here. Uh, not that we need both of them operating, I don't think, since there's nothing to cut down at the moment. Okay, how are we doing? We've got two beds left. We've got three um, unemployed beavers. We've got nine children. That's okay. That's all good. Um, what do we want to look at next? Good question. We might want explosives. It might be time for explosives. Is it time for explosives? It might be time for explosives. Not just yet. Oh, it's tempting, but not just yet. No, not just yet. Right. Hmm. We need better power and we need power storage. That's a good idea. Uh, what do I need for that? I need paper for that. So first, we need a paper mill, which ne means more power. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we're not getting a lot of power up here, but let's chuck in another windmill there. Just to, to up that a little bit. Um, gravity batteries would be useful. That'd be a good spot for them. Get dynamite and, and di dig a trench in front of them. That not, wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Anyway, that's that's thinking ahead. Yeah, that's thinking ahead. Right. First thing we're going to need to unlock is paper. So we want a paper mill. Is it worth putting it on there? Um, with the wind blowing, we're getting about 400. We'll, we'll get a little bit more from that. Yeah, okay, we'll put in a paper mill behind here. Just there will be fine. Uh, but first, we'll put in a platform to get across there. So, platform in there. Steps up steps down and a path there we go so we'll build that we'll spin on another few days and then we'll uh, see about putting in that paper mill right seven days left of the drought we don't have a lot of water left in uh, this little reservoir here so we're almost certainly going to lose that before the end of the drought um, which means we're going to lose fertilization across all of here but that's okay we still have uh, 2.7 thousand food uh, and a good few hundred uh, waiting to be cooked. So we're not we're not too worried about food at the moment. Uh, Water-wise, we've still got 2.2 thousand water. Um, this has dropped quite a lot as well because we're taking out of here rather than taking out of here. Uh, we've lost um, fertilization for a lot of these um, tree planting spots here. Um, so our, our forester is sat doing nothing until the, the water returns, basically. So once we do get dynamite, then uh, hydrating a little bit around here wouldn't be a bad idea. Sticking in a, 
a swimming pool around here wouldn't be a bad idea. But let's put in, even though there's no power, because, again, there's no wind. Uh, let's put ourselves in, oops, come on, there we go. Let's put ourselves in a paper mill up here. Perfect. 250 science points. We have one and a half thousand. Go for it. Uh, and then we will want a path to join it up. Okay, that takes 15 gears. We have 11. So it's going to take a, a little while before we have those, especially since the gear workshop isn't working at the moment. Right. Let's see when this water runs out then, shall we? There we go. The start of day... Uh, the fifth day left of the drought, uh, day 19 of the cycle, and this has just run out. So evaporation did for, for most of that, to be honest. Uh, we still have a little bit of water we can drain from here. Uh, not a huge amount. Um, but we do have 2,000 still in storage, so we should be okay, in theory. We'll see. Uh, all of these crops are going to die, obviously. Um, not that it really matters. We can just replant them. Uh, the trees are going to be fine. Uh, these will... Oh, these, these are going to be okay as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, we've got just enough time on there. That should be fine. Right. Our paper mill is in and producing paper, which is good. Um... So, the next thing we need to look at, then, we need 30 paper for each large windmill. Um, where are we going to put this? I think coming up here, onto this rise here, and putting in a couple of large windmills along here, uh, connecting, uh, connecting them up to this power shaft here isn't a bad idea. So, let's pop in a path. Am I going to be able to put in stairs there, or is it going to whine at me? It's going to whine at me. All right, we'll have to put the stairs in there, then. In which case, we might as well clear out that little bit of path. Don't know what we're going to do with that space, but we might do something with it. Who knows? Probably not. Um, okay. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we've got ten paper already. All right. All right. That's not bad. How much are our... 1.4 thousand. We don't quite have enough uh, science. We will have probably by the end of the day, but let's build up a stock of paper. Let's let's see if we can get 40 paper. Uh, 60 paper, rather. So we can get two of these large windmills in. Uh, and I'll wait until we've got the science points to unlock it. Okay, just under three days left of the drought, and these three water pumps here are no longer able to draw water. So I've built another one lower down. We still have one water pump drawing water. We still have 1.8 thousand water in stock. Well, uh, 1855 water in stock. So we should be fine to last the next couple of days. That should be fine. But we are still at least drawing some in. So that's good. Um, everything else is going along as uh, usual. Things are still proceeding up here. Uh, we do have a bunch of wheat in stock. So, I was thinking that it's probably not a terrible idea to stick in another grist mill and have it powered by a, uh, a straight wheel, like so. It won't get 100% of the power it needs, but it will get, you know, close enough. Uh, and we'll just set that to constantly produce wheat flour. And then we'll set up another bakery to produce bread. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, two and a half days left. We're going to be fine. Uh, we do have an injured beaver running around somewhere, but we do have medical beds for them. So that's all good. I'll spin on to the end of the drought, I guess. And there's the end of the drought. We survived. Still have 1.4 thousand water, 2.7 thousand food. Everything's good. Okay. We have... 72 paper. One gear. Not ideal. Uh, let's pop you on. Uh, you're already set up to make wheat flour. That's good. Uh, are we... 
set up to store wheat flour anywhere? Um, no, we're not. Okay, let's... Pop some storage in for wheat flour. Oh. There we go. And then we're going to need to put in a baker to start turning that into uh, bread. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what we do need to do is obviously wait for the water to come back so we can replant all of our crops. That's not a big deal. Um... But we want to be able to make, uh, where are we, large windmills. Uh, we still don't have enough science, because I spent some. Because, you know, uh, I unlocked benches and I put in a, a bench just under there. Just in that little space there. Okay, you are done. You are going to be storing wheat flour, please. Okay. Now, what is the next step? I mean, obviously we need more gears. Do we need another gear workshop? I think we probably do, don't we? Because we're just not getting enough out of there. We've just... We've got enough power on there at the moment, and with additional windmills, that should be okay. Um, where can we fit in a gear workshop? I mean, we could put it there. Or we could put it there. Let, let's just put it there. Yeah, that's fine. It will draw power from the smelter, so that's okay. Right. Uh, the water is returning. Excellent. Let's turn on... A couple of these. That'll do for the moment. Um, these will fill out. This one will will disappear underwater. Uh, this should rehydrate, so we'll be able to uh, uh, finish off planting there. Uh, I turned these trees over here onto cutting, um, so that we can get a little bit of wood in because we're running, or we were running a little bit low on logs. Um, as you can see, our storage over here is empty, uh, and our storage over here is empty as well. This is the only place we've actually got logs stored at the moment. So, a few more of those would be nice. Um, are you filling up? Not yet. Are you going to fill up? No, I need to raise this a little bit. Okay, so there we go. That's now got water in it. Let's drop that back down again. Sorry, that wasn't filling up because obviously that the, the dams are at a higher level than the um, floodgates. They're at like three quarters of the way up rather than half or full. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We are making wheat flour, are we? Yes, we are. Good. Let's get a bakery in then. Uh, where can we squeeze a bit? Oh. How's about there? That seems fine, doesn't it? Uh, we are going to need more beavers. Oh, we've got a couple of uh, beavers just grown up. That's good. Flooded buildings. Where do we have... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have our seasonal flood. That's That's okay. You are... Yeah, you're dropped right down. That's okay. That should retreat any second now. Any second now, that will retreat. Literally any second. Just, just waiting for it to uh, come on, retreat. Oh, it'll, it, it will do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, probably. Okay, yes, right. Our gear workshop is in, so we are producing more gears. We now have seven. That's not ideal. But let's set up... Hmm, how are we going to do this? Is it going to let us... Yes, it is. 
Okay, we'll put a high power shaft in there. And then we want to put in our windmills up here. Uh, how far off are we? 35 points. Okay. I'll spin on till we've got the science. Okay, day three, we have enough science. Um, things are progressing. We don't have any spare workers at the moment. That's fine. Um, our hauler's lodge is uh, full, though. So we have plenty of uh, available beavers in there should we need them. Um, I'm just putting in the uh, straight power shaft there to connect this uh, power arrangement up onto the uh, little rise here. Okay. Large windmill. How large? Yeah, you're not too bad. I can put one of you right there. 1,400 science points. There we go. Oh, we have 32 left. That's nice. Uh, that's going to take a little while to put in because we are waiting for gears, obviously. Uh, but we do have plenty of paper now, so that's good. Um, over on the other side of the settlement. Uh, I've put in some additional storage over here. Um, so we're going to be storing uh, bread over here. Yeah. All of this is nearly planted up now. Just these last uh, few spaces to go uh, on the maple. Um, our wood stock isn't increasing particularly quickly. But we should be okay. Um, I mean, I guess we could just sacrifice more of these berries, couldn't we? Let's do that. Let's take... I mean, yeah, let's let's just go all out. Let's get rid of all of this here. Um, and in fact, we might as well clear that line as well. Clear out all this space and use it for planting. We can we can reach it all with the uh, the forester. So yeah, we'll get all that done, and then we'll wait for this windmill to be uh, produced. There we go. Our large windmill is in, um, and it's putting out two hundred eighty eight horsepower at the moment, which is nice. Um, we have a well being of seventeen because we had access to bread, uh, and we still have access to bread. We still have some bread in storage. That's good. Um, yeah. That's good. Right. I guess... Oh, they're nearly finished clearing all of this. Let's, um... Bring a path out to there. And I think we'll just bring it down this way. Um... Oh, we might as well just clear out those berries as well, mightn't we? Yeah, let's just get all that out of the way as well. Okay, and let's plant up some more. What should we plant? Um, let's plant some more oak. Let's put that in there. There we go. Right, now we need to build up some more science. Uh, I did put in another inventor's hut just here. Um, oh, and I know what I want to do now. I want to put in... Uh, another water storage tank there. Because uh, I cleared out a couple of the smaller ones to make space. Okay, right. Yes, I need to build up um, another 200 and something. 283? 82? 80? Yeah, all right. 280. I'll be back. Okay, start of day five and we've just got the drought warning. Uh, it is going to be a drought, not a bad tide. But yeah, we are not as prepared as we uh, might otherwise be for that. We've got plenty of food and plenty of pre-food stocks, so that's okay. But we're still only at 1.7 thousand water. Um, we need that to be higher. Uh, I've turned on all of these um, water pumps for the moment. Uh, we have three people or three beavers missing from the hauling post. Yeah. Okay, that's going to put our plans on hold a little bit, I think. Uh, we're going to have to see how bad this uh, drought is going to be. Uh, and we'll see how quickly we can build up the science points as well. Yeah, this, this could be problematic. Th this one, yeah, this one could be a problem. We'll see how much water we can store up in the meantime. There it is, 18 days. 
bring it on. But bring it on next episode, because we're going to end it there for this one. We've done all right. We, we have done all right. We've got grist mills in. So we're turning our cattails and our bread uh, and our wheat into flour. And we've got bakeries in to turn that into uh, cattail crackers and bread, respectively. Uh, we've got a bit more planting space for trees. Uh, we've got this set up here so we can... Oh, the pine is ready to be harvested. So... Uh, where is that? That's the Tapper's Shack. 500 science. Yeah, that's going to be a little while yet. That's okay. Um, is it worth putting a... No, it's not worth cutting those down at the moment. No. We'll leave that for the moment. Um, and then we'll wait till these maple trees come in as well. And then we'll put the Tapper's Shack there. Uh, I'm saving up um, science points for... Obvi oh, hello. Happy beavers, briefly. We're back down at 17 again. Uh, saving it up for the explosives factory. So that's 400 science. Uh, and then we'll need another 600 for each. Uh, for the first level of dynamite. Then 900, then 1200. So, yeah. It's going to be a while before we can do any serious demolition work. But, we can start getting uh, ready. Other than that. This drought could be a little more brutal. Let's be honest. Uh, this is definitely going to dry out. This dried out about 13 days, 12 days, something like that. Um, in fact, let's turn all of the water pumps off here. Uh, we have 2,500 water stored. That's not too bad. Uh, we still have these uh, three pumps to keep us going for the moment. And then another pump down here to keep us going further. We should be all right, in theory. We might lose a few, depends. Depends how well we manage it. But let's find out next episode. Thanks very much for watching this one. Please do give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, please give us any comments down below. All the engagement helps. Uh, and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.